Welcome to our lecture online. So what do we do when we're looking for a relationship where y varies inversely as the cube root of x and we're given that y equals 2 and x equals 8 and find y when x equals 24. So it looks like it's a inverse relationship and it's inverse with the cube root of x. So the equation should look something like this. We have y is equal to k divided by, because it's inversely related, and it's a cube root of x, so the cube root of x like this. And we're given some values, so that again, the first thing we should do is try to find the value for k. And we do that by plugging in these values for y and x. So we get 2 is equal to k divided by the cube root of x, which in this case is 8. And the cube root of 8, well, that's equal to 2, so 2 is equal to k divided by 2. Then we multiply both sides by 2, and we get 4 is equal to the 2's cancel out, which is equal to k. So there we find the value for k, and we plug that into our equation. So that means that now that we know k, we have y is equal to 4 divided by the cube root of x. Now we can find y when x equals 24. So y when x equals 24 is equal to 4 divided by the cube root of x, which in this case is 24. So what's the cube root of 24? Well, let's see here. Let's see the cube root of 24. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. So this is equal to 4 divided by the cube root of 24 times... Uh, 24 can be written as 8 times 3. Okay. That means that y, when x equals 24, is equal to 4 divided by the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 3. Of course, the cube root of 8, that's equal to 2. So y, when x equals 24, is equal to 4 divided by 2 times the cube root of 3. And the 4 and the 2 cancel, that is 1 and that is 2. So that means that y, when x equals 24, is equal to 2 divided by the cube root of 3. Now, of course, we do not like to keep radicals in the denominator. So what we want to do is we want to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the cube root of... And notice what I want here is so that that will no longer be a radical. So I need a 9 and a 9 here, because I need to do the same to the numerator as I do to the denominator. But now notice I have 3 times 9, which is 27. So this is equal to 2 times the cube root of 9, divided by the cube root of 3 times 9, which is 27. And that, of course, the cube root of 27 is 3. So this becomes 2 thirds times the cube root of 9. And that is the value, oop, let me make that a better looking 9, there we go. So that is the value for y when x equals 24, and that is how it's done. Last one for tonight? I'm done. Okay, I'm done too. That's it.